everyone, this is Tony with Feed Your Creativity. It is National Fountain Pen Day, and I'm going to do something kind of crazy. I'm going to drive four hours away to go to the event that the Orlando Pen Club is having. This is my first time celebrating Fountain Pen Day. I can't wait. Let's go feed your creativity. <music> Maybe all this traveling all day will keep me from buying stuff online. <laughs> Finally made it to downtown Orlando for the public library. Let's go celebrate Fountain Pen Day. That's the first show. The video would come later. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That was the very first one? Very first show, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. Bronze Age. This is the Davina Way. Beautiful. It's a wow. And then this one. This one is the Opera Gold. Came out recently. It has all the features of these pens. It has the hook and lock cap. Mm -hmm. um, it has an ink window there. It has the dual reserve ink reserve. It's a vacuum fill. Uh, but it's only three hundred fifty dollars. Wow! Versus the other ones are eight and nine hundred. Yeah, that's cool. crazy. Yeah. And the difference is it's not a gold nib. The other ones have gold nibs. Does it write nice though? It writes beautifully. Oh, perfect. Give it a try. Oh. It's faceted like the Medici. Oh yeah. Which I like faceted pens. I'm sorry. Wow, that is so pretty. Well, and the weight's really nice too. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really pretty. That sheen is just so pretty. Yeah, yeah. 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 She showed me the tears of sapphire that you can no longer get. So pretty. Tears of sapphire, that's what they do, right? You think it's so pretty. Were you the one who was asking about Ferris wheel prices? Yes. All right. I'm yeah. Deepak. Hi, Deepak. Tony. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Here's three. Just down right on over there. Midnight. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Isn't that great? This one that we said was too light, right? That's this one. It's pretty, but I would say that it's really light, right? It shades nicely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.
someone is selling all this ink. So I'm gonna go with Dusted Truffle by Diamond. Go with Jingleberry by Diamond. And please hold all comments. I am gonna get two noodlers for dip pens, Australian Rose, and the Texas Blue Bonnet. Thank you, Deepak. Ruben, Steve thinks you're gonna like this. I those shones are really nice. I was like, that's a stuff. That's awesome. Pretty much everything I own is a stub. I got a few broads and a couple of islands, but I'm pretty basic. Sister, show me the. Very first entry okay. into the Urushi world. It's great. Great to meet you. Uh, it's a Got beautiful pen. Here. Comes with this nice right. wooden box. The Ikaku. I think I'm saying that right. I hope so. Okay, I've been there. Anyway. It's okay. I'll hear about it on the YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Probably. But it was their first one that they that they uh, dove into the uh, Urushi world with. They have a few others now, but very nice. Beautiful. Pen. Yeah. That's beautiful. Gold nib pen. Mm -hmm. The Custom okay. 74 is perfect for that. It has the uh, 70, con 70. So you just stick it in the bottle and just push it down a couple of times and it sucks the ink up in it. Nice. Fills it up. Very easy to use. Very, very nice. And they pen. clean that way as well. Mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, we can pull it out just like a regular converter. And they're beautiful colors. If you look in the resins, the resins are all a little different. They've got like gold flake. Yeah. And these too, it's like a gold flake in them. Wow. It makes some really beautiful pens. Yeah. And for yeah. half the price of the expensive one, you're getting basically the same features. And they're all unique. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like those a lot. This is the Jonathan Brooks. He made uh, his original uh, first time ever with Visconti, the first time they ever used an American to make a resin for them. The other one is blue. They're sold out worldwide. I think I sold the last one in the world, honestly. Um, and the red one, some people still have a few red ones. I still have these two red ones left. They're, um, Medici, which is faceted. I love that. I do too. Thank you to the Orlando Pen Club for hosting Fountain Pen Day 2023. I had a blast. Totally worth the drive. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and see you next time.